Hey guys, today let's take a look at this Colmi Smart Ring, which is basically a smartwatch or a smart band like such a Mi band, but instead of wearing it on your wrist, you can wear it on your finger. And it's basically like one of these Aura rings, which is a few hundred euros. Shout out to Arun on this uh, position. But these types are just like 15 euros on AliExpress and they are called the so-called R02. There are some similar ones. Uh, we will concentrate on this Call Me one. And you can see that the ring itself is not only real, but it's also like really small. And on the plus side, it does even really work. So if we shake this thing a bit, and hope for a successful synchronization. We can see that the steps already go up. And also this thing so basically can yeah, count steps and watch your uh, heart rate. So if we trigger a measurement, you can see the LED for the measurement is lighting up. Let's do it once more, like so. And yeah, it will measure it correctly. It has like the battery uh, information, which is also lasting quite long, which is crazy in comparison to the size. And yeah, what my plan of course is not to use it as a smart feature ring however, but to look deeper inside. And they made it quite simple on this one. So you can see you have, let's get something to show. You can here see the main SOC, the acceleration sensor and the heart rate sensor. And further out here to the left is basically like the charging circuit. And the way you charge it is by some magnetic cradle, cradle thingy. Let's also get it out of the package to show this as well. It's like this small magnet thing which just plops into place. And yeah, gets charged via USB that way on the other side. And yeah, the uh, main goal is of course to try to figure out what the firmware is doing and also if we can replace the firmware with something else. And I started by yeah intercepting the original application and getting the firmware itself from the OTA server. It was possible and to our luck, the update is not signed or encrypted or anything. So if we want, we can upload a custom firmware to it without needing to open it. But since we need to develop a new firmware for it somehow, we first need to figure out how to yeah, hardwire into it to not brick it or anything. And for that, I got myself this data sheet of the SOC, which is the so-called BlueX RF03, strange name, but it's the way it is. And by following the data sheet, we can find out this is the SWD pin we need to access. After that, um, I looked into the device itself, into the ring, and by Looking into the epoxy, we can quite simply yeah, take a knife and scrape away the correct region, which I did basically like this, uh, until you have the bare wires and also the yeah, rest of the chip basically. And Let's now get to the ring where I did it already. So here basically I yeah, scraped it away 
it's a bit hard to see and I replaced it then by uh, some UV curing stuff and two wires which are now connected to the SWD flasher and this way it's possible to access the microcontroller and read and write its memory on your PC and to our luck even the SDK for this Blue X microcontroller is available on Gitty but also an older version on the uh, manufacturer's website of this chip and overall this chip isn't even bad it has like half a megabyte of flash it has two kil uh, 200 kilobytes of RAM and 128 kilobyte of ROM which we can also read out which consists of the BLE stack and the boot ROM and it's overall a Cortex M0 SOC inside or core um, the only downside I personally see on this ring is like you have no real output device. I mean there are LEDs inside which can also be controlled via the SOC so it's not like only charging LEDs but also like controllable LEDs but when you wear the ring you do not really see them and they are not really obvious. I mean you have to take quite the deep look into it. Some kind of vibration or maybe a piezo speaker would be just like perfect but what can you do. So this is also why I will not continue right now to develop any custom firmware. What I would think about is basically like a smart home gadget where you can like basically maybe double tap it and then rotate the ring to maybe change the volume of the music or triple tap it for the next song you want to play which or, or maybe even like something like turning the light on and off depending on your tapping pattern because that is something you can detect with everything you got here already so like the acceleration sensor and such if you do not want to use the smart features like or fitness features like the the heart rate sensor or step counting or such so i could really think about like double tapping turning in one direction will trigger some actions we are home assistant whatever you name it and yeah while this is not showing any custom action right now it's quite nice to see it's like this small and this unnoticeable in comparison to a normal ring and yeah check it out and i hope to see some custom firmwares in the future for it the options are available for us <laughs>